Hello all. So <laughs> this happened yesterday where I was trying to record this and it seems on my recording my audio services were not enabled. So thank you for the comment on the video stating that there's no audio on this video. So I'm re-recording it. Hopefully this time I did check my settings. Hopefully everything goes well. So as we are on uh, what's new in 2024 release wave one and I was planning to go ahead and start uh, on-prem some videos around on-prem. I got an email which was pretty interesting and the question on that email was that while I'm installing Business Central and it was not Business Central 24 release wave one for the prior version, everything completes successfully in the installation but at the end I get an error message which says web server component is have a fatal error during installation. What we'll try to do is we'll first try to replicate the issue and then we'll try to understand why this issue is coming and how you can fix it. So without wasting further time, let's get into it. Okay. I might not have the same version uh, of Windows operating system, but I'm hopeful that I'll be able to replicate it. And to save some time, I just started the installation of Business Central 20. I'm here at this point where I'm installing this. So while I'm installing this, I hit the apply button and now it'll start installing the component that are required to run Business Central 20 in this case. Now, during installation, there are certain prerequisites that gets installed. And while this is happening, let me move it here and go to the product DVD. Okay. So in BC 22, because that's what I'm installing right now, there are surely files get copied from this installation media to the installation directory that we have selected during installation. But to run Business Central or any other product, there are some prerequisites that are needed. So when you start installation, uh, what happens is mm, Business Central installer checks for the prerequisites that are required for Business Central. And if they are not available, they get installed from this folder. So now let's have a look at it. So what's installing right now is .NET Framework 4.8, which is here. And it means that that particular prerequisite component is not installed on my machine. The SQL Server component gets installed if you don't have a SQL Server available on the system where you're installing it. And then it installs the free edition of SQL Server. And in the same way, there are other components which get installed. So let's wait for a while and I'll pause the video and I'll resume it once this gets over and we'll understand what else is happening. So as you can see, that prerequisite is done and now it's trying to install the IIS prerequisite for web server component. Now this prerequisite is required to uh, host the uh, business central web client on your IIS and this is actually getting installed from one of the executable which is here which is called as web client dependency installer now with this anything that's missing in your system uh, which is required on IIS kind of sets it up if it is already available the setup kind of skips it but if it is not available then it the setup kind of tries to s configure that particular component so that it is available for business central. So let's wait for it because rest should be pretty simple once the prerequisite components are done. Now the other component that's being installed right now is Microsoft.NET Core Windows Server Hosting. Now if you remember, that is one of the component which is here in the prerequisite component, the .NET Core, and it's getting installed. Now as that got installed, uh, the installer was quickly able to install the dev environment uh, part of the installation and now it's trying to restore the SQL database component which is the demo database which also seems to be done. Now it's trying to configure the middle tier of Business Central which is the service tier based on which the database gets accessed by the user via web client. So that's being configured right now and at the end once all is done uh, the installer will try to install the web server component which is the website hosting on 
the IIS. Now till this point, if you notice, everything looks correct. There are no problems at all. And it seems we'll be able to install the Business Central 20 as we need it. So let's have a look and let's see what happens once the web server component is complete, its installation. Okay, in the meantime, while this is happening, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. That helps us to understand how we are doing, where we are doing wrong, uh, what we need to change, and make sure to add comments into the videos so that we learn from our mistakes if you are doing something wrong. So once this component is over, we'll be able to see what are the results of it. Then we'll try to understand the root cause of the problem and then we'll try to see how you solve it. Okay, so let's give it a minute. Okay, so the installation is completed and now it says that there is a warning or an error message. So let's drag it into the middle and let's see the problem report. For the .NET framework, it says it's installed successfully. Computer must be restarted to complete the installation. We'll do that. For the web server component, it says computer again must be restarted. Great. But for the web server component, regarding the web uh, server component, it says there is a fatal error during installation. Normally, if I try to open the installation log, this should tell me everything that happened. Here it tells you that uh, it did check the SQL server is installed and it exits one. That means it was available. And going forward, it is checking here for something which is exited zero. So then it installed it. And as you come down here, it is giving you details of what was not available and what got installed during the process. But when you come down, it says that the package web server component failed with an error message and everything else seems successful above it. So there is something wrong with it and we need to figure out what wrong with it. Uh, what happened, what went wrong. So before we move further, what I'll do is I'll close this and I'll just quickly restart this machine so that we can at least complete what's uh, suggested by the installer. And that will kind of take us to the point where we can start fixing the error if that becomes a problem. Now, let's talk about why this happens you will only face this error message uh, in case of, uh, especially in case of if you already have a business central version available, already installed. And it may happen in some different operating system that you even don't have a business central installation done, but you still get that error message because there are some component which are uh, kind of not being updated the way they should have been. So let's wait for it and then we'll see uh, the root cause of the problem and how to fix it. So after much analysis, what I was able to find out is when you're trying to install business central web server component, uh, you might see this error message and the error message will typically occur when, uh, where the business central web server hasn't been installed before or it has been installed of a prior version. It happens because setup is trying to install one component which is Windows Server Hosting and also in some cases Microsoft.NET Core Runtime on your machine but they are already installed and causing conflict. So let me go back to the product DVD and explain you what this means. So when you go into the product DVD, let's go back to the prerequisite component. As per my findings, uh, after scanning uh, different articles and trying to figure it out. What happens is this happens when the .NET Core component is trying to be installed and it is already installed on your system. So that's the Windows Server Hosting. <coughs> Sorry for that. So this happens because of the .NET Core component, which is the Windows Hosting. Now we know the culprit. Uh, prerequisite component that's there. Now how we do we fix it? Just go into your add or remove program under your control panel. And in this, uh, search for Windows Server Hosting. Okay. If there is one, 
uh, that you see just uninstall it <clears throat> when you uninstall this component which is happening here it kind of removes the default component which came with the operating system or maybe with the prior version of business central that you have now once you have done that you can close this go back to your product dvd run the setup again and this time just hit the repair which will just repair the installation component that you have done so now what it's doing it is trying to check again the same steps whatever is available if it is not available it gets installed if it is available it kind of being repaired at that point so you'll notice that the dotnet 4.8 did not run during this process and now it started installing the IIS prerequisite and one of the prerequisite that we are talking about after this component will get installed which is our dotnet core so as soon as this is over it now started installing the dotnet core windows server hosting and now it's just completed that installation and it's moving ahead so at this point I should be able to see once the installation is over a website hosted on my IIS stating for business central 22 which has not yet happened because the installation is still happening but as soon as this installation completes there should be a website hosted for business center 20, 20, 20 I guess or 22 whatever that installation is 22 so let's wait for it and let's see what happens do we get an error message does it fix it or not we'll just check it okay so it's doing something okay it should complete any moment now and we should be able to see the site here now as this installation will complete uh, we'll be able to see the website here and as if you are here just for the error message understand that this is the component which is causing the error that you are facing which is the dot net uh, core windows server hosting and if you kind of remove it from your system by going into add or remove program you will be able to repair your business center installation and uh, have it running without any error messages now this video was not a full-fledged installation video I'll surely do a separate video for Business Central 2024 uh, release wave one installation. So if you are here for installation video, sorry for that. Uh, we'll talk about those topics in a separate video. But this is specifically about the error message of web server component that you get during your installation process. So let's give it a minute and see what happens. So as you can see now, there is a business center installation available here and that is BC220. There are no errors here. So everything completed successfully. Let's even try to explore this and see what happens. Okay. So this should log into my business center 220 and I should not have any issues. So let's reiterate what we said in the beginning. If you see an error message, which is very specifically around web server component had a fatal error during installation, and this can happen on your in-house server or on even on your Azure virtual machine, that when you try to install business central web server component using the setup.exe, you might see an error message, which is fatal error during installation. And if that happens, the possible cause of it is it happens uh, because either the business central have not been installed and it's a pretty fairly new machine or there is a conflicting version or a prior version of uh, Windows Server Hosting or Microsoft.NET Core Runtime which is causing a conflict. What is the workaround for it? Uninstall the Windows Server Hosting and Microsoft.NET Core Runtime for the VM or from your local machine and then run the setup.exe with the repair option. Hopefully, if you had this error message, this video helps you to solve that problem. If it does help you, hit the like button. If you think others may have the similar issue, do share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you haven't, then please do subscribe to this channel. 
and there will be a next video sooner than later on the installation of 2024 release wave one so stay tuned till then keep learning and keep sharing have a good day